couple of examples and this will resemble the questions that you get in the exam when it comes to calculating the cost of equity. In the previous lecture, we introduced the dividend valuation model. So we are just going to play along with the formula. Now, let's look at this question here. We're told a company has paid a dividend of 30 cents for many years. The company expects to continue paying dividends at this level in the future. The company's current share price is $1.50. What I've done is I've tried to put this here on um, a timeline. So you would recall going back to net present value. Now is year zero. What will happen is this company will continue paying dividend of 30 cents as from year one, year two. And of course, this signs here means it will carry on paying dividend until infinity. Question, calculate the cost of equity. Now, before we calculate the cost of equity, remember, a share price, what you pay today, it is equal to the future stream of cash flows, in our case, dividends, discounted to their present value today. I've explained this in the previous lecture. But here, this is a constant dividend. There is no growth in the dividend or there is no growth in the cash flow. So isn't this a present value of a perpetuity? But with no growth, just a present value of a perpetuity. If you recall, and if you go back to the lecture, the present value of a perpetuity is the cash flow. In our case, the dividend divided by R. Let's see how we can apply this here. Now, the present value of a perpetuity, uh, here the present value of the share price, that we know. Remember, this is P0. So can we say P0 is equal to, well, the cash flow, I would call it D1, because we always assume that the first cash flow will be in year one. So D1 divided by R or RE. Remember, this is the rate of return for the shareholder and the cost of the company. Now, if, it, if this is the case, can I replace the RE? Because remember, if this is the return for the shareholder, it is the cost of the company. Can I, can I just write this KE? So if I rearrange this formula, can't we say KE is equal to, well, D1, which is the dividend, D1, divided by P0? If that's the case, what is D1? Well, D1 is 30 cents, right? And what is P0? P0 is $1.50, but let's keep it... I like working in cents, keep it constant. So there you go. So our cost of equity is 0.2 or if you want, 20%. Okay, moving on. Let's look at another example. This time, perpetuity with growth. So, P company has just paid a dividend of 10 cents. Shareholders expect dividends to grow at 7% per annum. P company's current share price is $2.05. Now, if you recall from the previous lecture, I've explained why this lecture here, although it seems all confusing, is simply a perpetuity with growth formula. Now, what do we know from this formula here what do we know or what are we trying to to calculate well we are trying to calculate the cost of equity which is re but remember i told you re uh, the return for the shareholder is the cost of equity for the company d note do we know d note well we are told the company has just paid a dividend of 10 cents so just paid a dividend um, 
that's 10 cents. Multiply by 1 plus G. G is 7%. We're told here shareholders expect dividends to grow at 7%. So 1 plus G, 1 plus 0.07. So multiply by 1.07. And we have this part of the formula here. What do we need to do next? So we need to divide by P note. You don't have to do it this way. This is just for explanation purposes. I'm, I'm taking it step by step. But if you can go and calculate it straight away, that's fine as well. So here we need to divide by P note, which is $2.05. But remember in the exam, keep it consistent. So this is 205 cents. And finally, so we got this part of the formula. And finally, we need to take this part of this formula and add G, which is 0 0.07. And there you go. So 0.122, or as a percentage, 12.22%. So that's our cost of equity. Hopefully, very simple stuff here. Now, the key is to look for certain key information. So I'll, do, I'll try to highlight when you have this can of questions, what are those key informations? So um, it's this one here. That's your dividend, D note. Also, you need to look for the growth rate, which is, whoops. This one, 7%. And finally, you need to look for P. 2.05. Yep. So once you have this, once you can look for this in the exam, you will nail this question. Now, sometimes you will need to calculate the growth rate and we'll come to that later. But once you understand how to apply the formula with this question here, it shouldn't be a big issue in the exam. So I'm gonna start the lecture here and uh, I will carry on with more examples of how to calculate KE in forthcoming lectures.